Now, friends, I will talk about another organization. Very similar organizations exist in all the countries. These are the organizations that directly indirectly impact the letter of credit and they spearhead the local banking ecosystem. So every country has their banking industry and this kind of organization deals with the day-to-day -day issues, guidelines and uh, training and management of the banking in that particular country. So every country has this kind of organization. For example, here in India, we have this organization which is called Foreign Exchange Dealers Association of India. In short, it is called FIDAI. Now, this organization that was set up in 1958 as an association of banks dealing in foreign exchange in India. These banks who are dealing in foreign exchange all over the world, they are normally referred to as authorized dealers, ADs. So this is the association of ADs in India. Similar type of organization exists in almost all the countries and their regulations, guidelines, policies has an impact on the letter of credit and also the cost of credit. The cost of opening the letter of credit or advising or confirming or negotiating. So the different roles of the banks are affected by the guidelines and regulations of such types of association. They are the local bodies and they have a direct impact on the cost of letter of credit opened by or supported by the banking industry in that particular country. For example, this Indian association, which is the FEDAI of the authorized dealers, it was established as a self-regulatory body. So it is not regulated by the local governments, generally in most of the countries. They are self-regulated bodies or banking industry regulated bodies and are incorporated in a particular company act of that country. For example, in India, FIDAI is incorporated under Section 25 of the Companies Act of 1956. So they are authorized by the government of India through some act which is part of the Companies Act. Now, the major role of FIDAI in India, for example, is to frame guidelines and rules for foreign exchange business. Similar types of guidelines and rules are framed by the local associations in all the countries. They also work in the area of training of the bank personnel in the areas of foreign exchange business. So the type of training they give, the intensity of the training and the quality of the training which they give to those personnels in their own country also has an impact on the system of letter of credit. Although it is spearheaded by and guided by the ICC's documents, which is UCP and another document which I will just talk to you about, still the training by the local bodies has a major impact because certain local practices come into picture and the result of which is that the interpretation of the ICC documents may differ from country to country because of this type of training done by the local association. This association also gives the accreditation for the foreign exchange brokers and the banks and all the ADs. So the complete ecosystem of the local banking industry that deals with the foreign exchange, their accreditation, recognition, is done through these kind of local associations in all the countries and in India also, FIDAI does this job. Another role which is played by FIDAI, for example, in India and it is done by most of the associations outside India also, it uh, is applicable, this fact is applicable for other associations in other countries also, that they do the advising and assisting of the member banks in settling issues matters in their dealings. So if there is a LC dispute with the banks 
either for the exporter or the importer and it relates to a bank in a particular country the one way is to go to icc for arbitration or the other way is that one can go to even the local bodies if it is acceptable to both the parties another role that is played by fidai in india is that they act as representative for the member banks on uh, the matters connected with the government or the reserve bank of india or any other bodies which have some relation direct or indirect with the foreign exchange business in that particular country their scope is limited to their own country normally they do not represent the banks outside india their scope and uh, the work area remains the country that they are located another thing which is done by fidai for example in india is to make announcements of daily and periodical rates to the member banks that is the foreign exchange rates if you look at the guidelines that have a very strong impact on the system of letter of credit these guidelines are set of rules governed according to these guidelines with suitable flexibility and freedom provided to the member authorized dealers they are more like guidelines they are not really rules actually although it is called the set of rules but uh, these are mainly guidelines because ultimately the banks are the bankers for them it is a religion and their main document still happens to be the document created by icc especially in the international letter of credit dealings so for example now in india banks are free to set their own charges for different fees and service charges that are connected with the handling of the documentary credit the letter of credit this is a new development earlier fedai used to set the fixed rates for uh, charges connected with uh, advising negotiating confirmation charges or even lc opening charges that has now been given up now the banks are free like uh, a commercial organization they can set their own fees depending on the quality of services provided by each bank and their reputation in the market other guidelines are available in the set of rules that are the rule number 1 rule number 2 rule number 3 rule number 4 rule number 5 for example rule number 1 refers to the hour of business rule number 2 refers to the export transactions rule number 3 refers to the import transactions rule number 4 refers to the clean instruments rule number 5 deals with the foreign exchange contracts these rules although they are called rules but they are again i am telling you that these are more of a guidelines are having some direct or indirect impact in the way letter of credit handling happens for example in this case in india but it is true for all the countries because all these countries have their own local associations those have their own guidelines and set of rules we have some more rules under the guidelines rule number 6 that deals with the early delivery extension and cancellation of foreign exchange contracts rule number 7 that deals with the business through exchange brokers rule number 8 that deals with the tt settlements settlements of the interbank tts and dispatch these are operational things that are covered mostly in these rules and regulations and the biggest impact they have on the letter of credit is the efficiency of the operation of letter of credit the times that are taken by the indian banks to handle the documentary credit in the international transactions and of course the fees and charges depending on each country depending on the needs of the local business people and their expectations these rules are set 
these guidelines are framed in each country and uh, although they do not override the guidelines given by the icc france but definitely they have an impact